Hi, my name is Victor Pertz from Autodesk and today we are going to be going through the third video of the integration between NVIDIA Cloud XR and Autodesk Spirit, specifically on the integration with HMDs. We are going to be looking at two different HMDs in this case, the MetaQuest 2 and the HTC Vive Focus 3. We will install Cloud XR on them and have our content wirelessly streamed from VRED in this case through SteamVR to our HMD. CloudXR can be locally based or cloud based, which allows us for an independent use and visualization of high fidelity content into our light and wireless headset. As I already explained in the first video, CloudXR is a streaming technology developed by NVIDIA. And what that allows is to pixel stream content from your computer to a device such as a tablet or an HMD. This will then be handled by SteamVR, which will handle the interaction between your application, in this case Autodesk VRED, and the headset or the tablet itself. Part of this video is going to be common to the first video I did with the tablet, so the installation of CloudXR in the computer, your registration as part of the developer for NVIDIA so that you can access the CloudXR files, the installation of SteamVR, and of course the use of Autodesk VRED. The specific components that you will be needing for this video are very similar to the ones on the CloudXR Android tablet installation. You will need first a computer, you will need Autodesk VRED, of course, you will need SteamVR installed, and you will need the CloudXR package, from which one part will go installed into the computer so that the computer will act as the streaming server. And then, depending on the HMD you are going to be using, you will need an APK specific to each HMD. And of course, you're going to be needing the HMD itself. So we are going to be starting with a common part for both headsets, which is, from the one hand, you need to download Android Studio. To do this, click in the link that I'll be leaving in the description below. Once you've downloaded it, install it. And the part that we will we'll be needing from this installation is ADB. ADB allows you to stream install content into a headset. To be able to do this, the headset will need to be set into developer mode so that USB debugging is possible. The second thing that's common to both headsets is that you will have to add ADB to the environment variables. We are going to be working with a command prompt and for the command prompt to be able to call ADB from whatever position, or whatever folder you're working at, you will need to add that to the environment variables. To do this, you have to open the system environment variables and on the lower window, look for path, edit, and there you will have to add the ADB path. By default, ADB is installed by Android Studio in the following link. Now we are going to be starting with the part that's tailored to each headset. I'm going to be starting with the Focus 3 as I found it way easier to install. The reason is that the Oculus doesn't have a pre-built application. You will have to compile it using Android Studio, then find the APK and stream install it to the headset. The Focus 3, on the other hand, has a pre-compiled application called Wave Cloud XR Sample. If you stream install it to the headset, you're good to go. First thing you will have to do is download the Wave APK. To do this, click into the following link. And if you scroll down below, you should find the APK sample. Once you've downloaded it, you will need to put the focus on the developer mode. To do this, go to Settings, Advanced, and toggle the USB debugging. Once you've done this, you will be able to stream install applications from your computer to your headset via USB cable. The last thing you will need to do is change the APK name to client.apk. I found this was the best way to have it running straight away. And finally, you will need to go to command, call ADB, and there is a quirk here. The application will require some permissions, which in my case weren't asked in the beginning when I launched the application. If you want to install the application with these permissions already granted, such as access to the microphone or access to the speakers, what you can do is use the minus G flag when you install it. So the installation process will look something like this. If you call this command into the command prompt, the application will be streaming installed into the headset. You will be able to use it the next time you use your headset. 
The last thing you will need into the headset before connecting to the computer is to give it the IP address. To do this, create a TXE file The name of that TXC file will be CloudXR Launch Options altogether, as you can see here. Once CloudXR is launched, it will look for this TXC file and guide you to the IP address that you gave it. Of course, once you've installed the application onto the headset, you will need to connect them to the same Wi-Fi network. And here, be careful because if you're using a company domain Wi-Fi network, there might be a connection issue, which I found and verified here as well. We created a separate network using any Wi-Fi router, basically, and using 5G, we were able to connect without any issues. If the connection is successful, a green CloudXR logo will appear in SteamVR homepage. Then just launch VRED, click into view open vr and you will be able to see your content from the headset without any cables whatsoever first things first at this point you should have android studio installed you should as well have ADB into the environment variables. And finally, you should have the CloudXR folder we downloaded from the CloudXR website. We are going to be opening Android Studio, and then you just have to navigate inside the CloudXR folder to the following path. There, you will find the Oculus VR project sample. Open that into Android Studio and click Build. This will create an APK that then will be streaming salt into your MediaQuest 2. By default, you will find the build APK into the following link. Sample Android Oculus VR app build outputs APK debug. The last thing you will have to do in this case is navigate inside of command prompt to the location of your APK. To do this, write CD and the path to your APK. Once you are there, you're good to stream install it. To install it into the quest, write adb.exe install-r and then the name of your APK. In this case, the name will be app-debug.apk. Once it's successfully installed, you will find a message saying success on stream install. If you get a message saying adb.exe not found, then refer to the first step. That means you will have to add it to the environment variables first. Lastly, as we did with the HTC headset, you will need to create a TXT file. The name of this TXT file will be CloudXR launch options. TXT. Once you launch CloudXR onto the headset, it will look for this file and refer to the IP address that you gave it. You should have SteamVR open in your computer before you launch the connection. Once the connection is made successfully, a green CloudXR headset icon will appear into SimVR, and then you should be seeing the SimVR lobby from your headset. Then click into View Open VR HMD. With that, you should already be seeing your ViewRed project into the headset. So, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any doubts, feel free to comment below and to contact us if you have any more questions. And yes, have a nice day.